Good morning, everyone. My name is Heather. Um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11 reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. These words truly hit home to me on the afternoon of May 22nd, 2011. A year and a half ago, my life changed. It was a regular, lazy Sunday afternoon, and I was taking a shower when the electricity went out. I quickly finished my shower and no sooner heard what sounded like a distant thunder. As the thunder grew louder and louder and began shaking the house, I realized I needed to get to the basement. As I was running to the basement, there were windows breaking, parts of walls being sucked out, and a lot of chaos. When I reached the basement, I held on for dear life as my entire house was shaking and the tornado was ripping my home in half. From the beginning of the electricity going out to the end of me being in the basement was no longer than a couple of minutes, but that was enough to have changed my life forever. As I came out of the basement that day, I realized that my house was destroyed. The entire second level was gone, the first level was exploded and scattered with debris, and the basement was flooded, and I had no idea what I was going to do. On that day, I think I learned what it meant to be a neighbor. We'd only been in the neighborhood for about a year and a half when the storm hit, but it felt like we had been there for years. Within about a minute of the storm, I had neighbors running over to check on me. The man next door was there right away to ask if I was okay, and he brought me some pants to wear. A couple of seconds later, my other neighbor, Tom, came over to see if I was okay. By this time, the sirens were going off, and he told me that I needed to grab my stuff, and we had to run. So I found my rubber rain boots and followed him. He told me that he knew the best way back to his house. I had no idea what that meant until I stepped outside. The rain was pounding down on us. We ran in between houses, jumped over power lines, and ducked under trees. I couldn't even see my car that was parked in our street. There were huge trees down everywhere, many of them directly up from their roots. As soon as I got to Tom and Jen's house, we ran downstairs. There was another young, young woman down there who had evacuated the bus she was riding, and Tom had grabbed her in from the street. I spent about the next hour or so in their house, holding their kids and playing with their dog, Curly. If it had not been for that family, I think I may have lost my mind. In the following weeks, as neighbors, we ate meals together, cried together, and prayed together. I truly cherish the memories that we created after the storm. Once my roommate and landlord realized that the house was unsalvageable and unlivable, she decided to donate it to Urban Homeworks. They came in right away and decided to save the main structure of the house and to rebuild to eventually sell again. Throughout those next couple of months, I would drive by our house several times a week. I just wanted to see what they had done to my home. Because even though I no longer lived there, it still felt like it was my home. It was stolen from me, and I just wanted to get it back. So as I would check on the house, Nate from Urban Homeworks would always ask me, Heather, when are you going to just buy this house? And I would always tell him, I'm not grown up enough to buy a house, are you kidding? Um, to which he would always respond, as long as I can pay my rent, I can own a home. So in May, I decided to start the process of buying the house back. And boy, is it a process. I've gotten to know so many people at Urban Homeworks, but especially Mike Spicer. He has answered every single question I've ever had, every question my dad has ever had, which is a lot. Um, and he's literally walked me through each step of the way. People often ask me, Heather, why in the world do you want to live on the north side, and why in the world do you want to go back to that home? And my response is simple. It's that it's my home. It's where my neighbors are. It's the place that I take refuge and the place that I feel called to be. Earlier I said that Jeremiah 29:11 has taken on a whole new meaning in my life since the tornado. The reason is because on the only wall left standing in my room that day was my cross. And on that cross read that verse that God has a plan for me that is bigger than I can see, that God's plan is not to harm me, but to give me a hope and a future. Um, and I will admit it has taken me quite a while to believe this and to see God's plan in all of this, but now I'm confident that he will continue to work through this tornado. So I stand before you today as the proud homeowner of 3647 Emerson Avenue North. There is no way that I could be here without the incredible work of Urban Homeworks and without all of you who support them financially and in prayer. I cannot thank you enough for making my dream come true, and that dream was simply to go home. Thank you. <laughs>